Hey y'all, I'm going to uh, make a short video on um, just kind of my makeup routine in the morning um, for a natural look. I started out using the Divine Moisturizer. I always use the Glorious Primer. It's a must. And then the Eye Primer for my eyelids to help the eyeshadow sound better. Um, first thing I'm going to do is uh, concealer. It's amazing. Um, I have a brush, but I'm just, I'm just do it easy. Just a little bit under the eyes. And I guess I'm going to do this as quick as possible so it's not going to be pretty. Um, and just kind of in my trouble spots, a little bit where I have some redness. Um, just a little bit wherever you need it. Mainly under the eyes, those is the biggest place. Scary! Okay, and then just, um, usually I let it sit for a little bit to kind of heat up with the skin because it usually helps a little bit better when you do that to absorb into the skin. It stays on better like that, but for time's sake, I'm just going to go ahead and give you the quick version of it. So basically, you just get it rubbed in there really good under your eyes and anywhere you have redness or pimples or rosacea or whatever else you may have. Okay, so there you go. Next, the Liquid Touch uh, Mineral Foundation, the amazing magic makeup that everybody's in love with, and it's all sold out. There's like one color left you can order, I think, on back order, but it'll be back soon, so don't panic. Um, this is chiffon. It's actually the one color that you can still order that's on back order. Um, I know I told everybody to use the powder puff brush, put it right on there, but I've changed my mind because that makes the bristles come out, unfortunately. Because it's a natural um, hair brush, it absorbs into the bristles and makes them heavy and they'll come out. So I put it on my hand now. Yay! Well, try to do this with my two-year-old. Okay. So still, I know. Thank you, baby. So still do the powder puff brush. Dot it all over your powder puff brush, just like I did before. And then you're just gonna dot it all over your face. Okay. And then in slight circular motions, rub it in. Very light circular motions. And I'll clean out. I tried to make a video yesterday. Well, it still might show up, but Emma has stole my mascara halfway through the video, so I couldn't really finish it. And look at that. Amazing, right? And as you buff this in, the viscosity of the foundation changes, and it'll be a little shiny at first, but it'll eventually turn into a matte finish. If you have an oily face, oily skin um, like I kind of do I will usually finish it with a powder there are pressed powder just a light um, dusting of it to kind of set it really good and so it stays on a little bit longer so that's always an option and I'll probably probably do that okay next as this sets a little bit I'm gonna do my eyes and I'm using our palette one I start out with using elated all over the eye And it's a very light color. You can barely see it. But it just kind of gives it a, a, a unified color to build up on. So that's where I started. Next, I used the chiffon. Chipper. Sorry, not chiffon. I, that's my other makeup. Okay. So chiffon. And this is how, this is the secret, okay? I do like a backwards V. I start right here and go up to my brow. And then I go over and follow my natural crease, okay? So just follow that natural crease. I'm having to look in the mirror to do this, so I hope that's not too distracting. And you can still see that little V. That just kind of gives you a little guideline to follow it on. Then I take my crease brush to do it a little bit darker. And I'll please don't, baby, please let mommy do this. And I just once again follow that natural crease. Okay. And it's going to look a little dark at first, but that's not the end result. Believe me. Okay, so that's that. Then you're going to use uh, Brassy. That's what I use. <laughs> Still in my mascara again. You're not funny. Okay, we're going to use Brassy. That one. 
Thank you, baby. Hey, will you go check on Bubby? And for Brassy, on your um, lower lid here, you're just going to fill it all the way and all the way to the corner of your eye, okay? And just meet it. Meet it to where you had the um, brown color right there. And then on the top, I'm going to do Sincere. Sometimes I'll do Brassy again, but for just to do it a little, a little bit different, I'm going to do Sincere. Are y'all still there? My phone fell. <laughs> I'm trying to get it set back up. Sorry about that. Okay, back to that. Sincere for the top. Once again, just fill it in. Okay. After I do this, I usually take one of my, it's plain, just a general brush and go over it a few times. This kind of blends it all in, okay? And then I'm going, you know, always go, and then I always go back over the, the, Take just a plain brush just to blend, just right there in the middle to blend it in. And I will all, sometimes use just a little bit more brown right there so there's no definitive uh, lines or anything. And as you can see, there it is. Isn't that pretty? So that's kind of my natural eye that I do for every day, not your like going out eye. Um, next, contouring beachfront bronzer. Our blusher brush. It's a dual sided. You have a shimmer side and a matte side. I go across both ways. Do your cheeks and you're going to go underneath that cheekbone. And then just kind of lift. And then you're going to do like a heart. Go from the middle of your forehead around to meet it. Okay? And then the other side. Woody! Woody! Mm -hmm, Woody, I see though. This is the great part about this job. I can stay on with my babies and do it. Okay, and then under the chin. Okay. And I'm not done yet. It's, I know it's a little dark, but you'll see what I'm going to do in just a little bit of that. For the blush. This is stunning, I think. Yeah, stunning. And look how... Yeah, it looks crazy, crazy pink, right? But this is all you need. This is the great... I've had this stuff for like a year. It's crazy how it lasts. You literally dot it, and that's it. I can blow it. And you do it on the apples of your cheek. What? Well, that's all you need. Okay, once again, dot apples of your cheeks. And then you want to... I want to blend it in into the bronzer. No, I don't think you need to do it right now. Then I take my powder puff brush, again, to blend it all in together, lightly over everything. Just, once again, so there's no definitive lines, it blends in, the bronzer blends in with your regular makeup, and it just looks really pretty. It's a lot of color. Okay, next, brows. My brow, horrible, I need my brows done so bad. This is our brow kit. You get the pencil, the gel pencil, and then the gel. The gel actually has fibers in it, like our mascara. So if you have any sparse places or barely have any lashes, at, or excuse me, brows at all, it is going to fill in and stick at any place that you don't have here on your eyebrows. Okay, so you're going to start out with that. And that already looks so much better. Then you're going to take the gel and just fill in on top. She's filling my makeup again. Okay, look at that. Look how amazing it looks already compared. And it would look even better if I had my brows done, but whatever. You okay? Yeah. All right. Okay, for my lips. This is really red. This color is, what is this, primal? Yeah, primal, okay? But I want to show you what, while I'm doing this. So, line of lips. Thank you, baby. I got my makeup, baby. This liner, all of our liners actually, are waterproof, smudge proof. The last all day. I usually let this sit for like a minute. 
to let it soak into the sand. That'll get you your, your lasting power, but just for time's sake, I'm not going to. This is upper class. And any color that you liner you use, it's going to change the color of the lipstick you use. I, love, I can like make a million different colors. But I did this as an accident one day. And I ended up loving this color. Isn't it pretty? Okay. Eyeliner. Real quick. I think my daughter stole it. Ah, okay. Maybe she did. Ah, did you steal my eyeliner? Well, you know what? Let's just go to the mascara then. Mascara. Go really, really quick. Gel. Gel first, ladies. I do the back of my lashes. Don't wiggle. <laughs> Don't wiggle anymore. Go straight up and down, okay? Just straight, straight up. And I take the tip to do the corners. No, it broke. Once again, I know it didn't break my Lumi case off. That's okay though. Y'all, I'm sorry. I'm having technical difficulties here. So, let me try. I'm sad. I'm sad? Yeah. Okay. All right, I'm going to try to hold it. So, I have my gel on, as you can see. Fibers next. Half left the lid. Okay. You're all, you don't want to let that sit there for just a minute. If you get any fibers on there, just blow them off. And then you're going to finish it off. You can do as many coats as you want to. I'm just going to do this one. And there you go, ladies. Mine is me dropping my phone twice. Um, obviously, I just did one, one half of the face, but this is just kind of a natural eye. Um, super easy. Lots of lip color, contouring on the cheeks. Um, I would have done eyeliner if my daughter wouldn't have stolen it. But if y'all have any questions, if you want me to do any kind of video this week, any kind of tutorial, if you're wanting to know how to do any kind of certain eye, let me know and I'll do it for you. And if you have any questions, ask me. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Thanks. Bye, y'all.